Lesson 11.9, we're going to talk about same perimeter and different areas for rectangles. We can use area to compare rectangles that have the same perimeter. We can create different rectangles with the same perimeter. Then we can calculate the areas to see how they change. To find a rectangle's perimeter, we add its four side lengths to get a total. And to find a rectangle's area, we multiply side times side as length times width. And perimeter is the distance around a figure. So we would measure going around the figure. Area is the number of unit squares needed to cover the surface of the figure. Sanjay has 16 feet of boards to put around a rectangular flower garden. How long should he make each side so the area of the flower garden is as large as possible? We can draw different rectangles that have a perimeter of 16 feet. Each of these has a perimeter of 16 feet, but they have different areas. This one is 16 if we count all the way around but its area is a length of 1 and a width of 7. And 1 times 7 is equal to 7 square feet for the area. This one also has a perimeter of 16 feet. We can count 16 side lengths going around little side unit lengths. And its area is a length of 2 and a width of 6. That's 12 square feet for the area. So they both have 16 for a perimeter, but they have different areas, don't they? Now look at this one. This one also has a perimeter of 16, but its area is a length of 4 and a width of 4. That's 16 square feet. And the area of garden 3 is the greatest. So Sanjay should build a garden that is 4 feet long and 4 feet wide. He'll have the greatest area, the largest possible garden. It says draw rectangles with the same perimeter and different area. We can create two rectangles that both have a perimeter of 18 but have different areas. So this long rectangle has a perimeter of 18 and this more square shaped one has a perimeter of 18. This one has a perimeter of 7 plus 2 plus 7 plus 2. That's 18 units but its area is two units in length and seven units in width. That's 14 square units. For this one, our perimeter was five plus four plus five plus four. That was 18 units also, but its area is a length of four and a width of five, and four times five equals 20. That's 20 square units. So the longer one was 14 square units, and the one that was shaped more like a square was 20 square units. So you notice the figure that looks most like a square had more area? Hmm. When two rectangles have the same perimeter, the rectangle that looks most like a square will have the greater area. I can just look at these two and say that one's going to have a greater area. So let's look at the perimeter. We've got 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 5. That's 24 units, and its area is 5 times 7. See the two numbers? 5 times 7, that's 35 square units. And this one has a perimeter of 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. Sorry about the focus. That's 24 units, and it is a square. It has four sides that are all 6. They're all the same length, and its area would be the 6 length times the 6 width, that would be 36 square units. So it's got one more square unit than this one, and it's shaped more like a square. It's got a greater area. So remember, a square has four sides of equal length. And we can find the length of a side by dividing the perimeter by 4. The perimeter is equal to 12 units. We can do 12 divided by 4. That equals 3. We know it has 3 units on each side. 
We can then find its area by multiplying 3 times 3, which is equal to 9 square units. We would do the length of 3 times the width of 3. Talus rug is 8 feet long and 5 feet wide. If the answer is 40 square feet, what's the question? Well, think. We need to think of a question that has 40 square feet for its answer, but uses the information 8 feet long and 5 feet wide. And we remember that 8 times 4 is equal to 40. Look at, those are the numbers in the word problem. And that area is found by multiplying length times width. So possible questions? Well, one could be, what is the area of Tala's rug? Another possible question could be, how much floor area will Tala's rug cover? So any possible question that involves area. Here we've got a yellow figure, a dark pink one, and a green one. So which figure has a perimeter of 18 units and an area of 20 square units? Well, it's faster to multiply a length times a width than it is to add all the sides or even count them one by one. We can try identifying the correct area first, then counting its perimeter to see if we're correct. So let's try to find one that has an area of 20 square units. We look at this one and see a side is 5 and a side is 5, and 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So this one's area is 25 square units. We're looking for 20, so no, that's the wrong area, so this one won't fit at all. It's got to have the area of 20 and a perimeter of 18, so if the area is wrong, well, we don't even need to bother looking for the perimeter. This one has an area of 3 times 6, that's 18. So that area is 18. We're looking for a perimeter of 18, not an area. The area is supposed to be 20. So no, that's the wrong area. We look at this one. It has a side of 5 and a side of 4, length times width, and 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So that's 20 square units. So this one fits for area. Let's check its perimeter. We have 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5. Yes, that's like 9 plus 9, isn't it? That's 18 units. So yes, it's got the correct perimeter and area. The figure that has that perimeter of 18 units and an area of 20 square units is the green one. Now let's talk about cause and effect. Sometimes one action will have an effect on another action. And the cause is the reason something happens. The effect is the result. It's the outcome. And Mr. Lee wanted to build a wood porch that was eight feet long and six feet wide. What if Mr. Lee cut the wrong measures for the wood and he built a porch that was eight feet long and four feet wide? Well, we can make a table to understand cause and effect. The cause was Mr. Lee cut the wrong lengths for the boards. The effect is that two sides of the porch are going to be smaller it was supposed to be eight feet long. Well, he did cut those eight feet long, but it was supposed to be six feet wide and he only cut four feet wide. So that means two sides were eight feet and two sides were four feet. So two sides of the porch are smaller than they're supposed to be. What effect did the mistake have on the porch? Well, he wanted an eight foot length and a six foot width that would have a perimeter of 28 feet. 8 plus 6 plus 8 plus 6 is equal to 28. Instead, the perimeter was 24 feet. It was 8 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4. And the perimeter decreased from what he wanted. This is what he wanted, and he ended up making this instead. See how this is shorter and this is shorter? So two sides of the porch are smaller than what he really planned on making? What effect did the mistake have on the area of the porch? Well, he wanted an eight foot length and a six foot width porch with an area of 48 square feet. Eight times six is equal to 48. Instead, the area was 32 square feet because he had an eight foot length and a four foot width. 
that's only 32. So the area decreased from what he wanted. And decrease means to make or become less. So it was less than what he wanted. So we can have rectangles that have the exact same perimeter as each other, but they'll have different areas. And when two rectangles have the same perimeter, the rectangle that looks most like a square will have the greater area. In our next lesson, 11.10, we're going to flip this around. We're going to have the same area but different perimeters. And I hope I'll see you there. Have a wonderful day. Bye.